Okay, let's start this problem. We have a doctor who writes an order for an infusion of a triotide, 1,250 micrograms per 250 milliliters of D5W. Take a look at the bag, 5% dextrose injection. This is the bag that we use, D5W, 5% dextrose. The vial has 500 micrograms per ml. Each vial has 500 micrograms. How many milliliters are we gonna inject into this IV bag to give us the concentration? Always pay attention to the concentration. Look at the vial, 500 micrograms per one ml. That's the key to the problem. 90% of the, the prob problems, if you know the concentration, that's the missing puzzle. Always, I'm gonna keep stressing this, what's the concentration? Always look at the concentration. Okay, grab your calculators, let's do this problem. Octreotide 1250 per 250 D5W. That's what the doctor wants. The vial is 500 micrograms per ml. Let's use ratio proportion. So we're going to put 500 micrograms over one milliliter. That's the given. That's the concentration. We want 1250 micrograms over X milliliters, XML. That's what we want to find out. 1250 times one divided by 500 is equal to 2.5 milliliters, 2.5 ml. You're gonna need three vials to get 2.5 ml because each vial only has one ml. So you're gonna need three vials to withdraw the 2.5 ml. Let's use dimensional analysis. I don't like to use dimensional analysis for, for such a short step problem. 1250 micrograms over one ml, and we want the, the units to cancel out, so we're gonna put the micrograms on the bottom. The given, 500 micrograms on top, one ml. The units are gonna cancel out. You're left with milliliters, so that's 1250 times one, which is 1250, over 500, is equal to 2.5 milliliters. You're gonna to need to take three vials with you into the IV room, and you can withdraw 2.5 milliliters to, to make this IV bag, to make this order. Okay, let's do some, if you like the video, please subscribe. I wanna go over some quick uh, metric conversions. Take a look at the vial. 500 micrograms per ml is what you have in the vial. It's the same thing as 0 0.5 milligrams per ml. So let's just practice converting micrograms to, milli to milligrams, I'm sorry, micrograms to milligrams. So 500 micrograms is equal to how many milligrams? So you have a whole number. We don't write the decimal point after, after the whole number, but it, it's helpful to do it when we do the conversions. So the base unit is grams. Then it, as you move to the right or the left, it's the power of 10. So we have deci, centi, milli. And I don't, I don't memorize the rest after that. And I know that one, two, three, and then you go to microgram. And then one, two, three, you go to nanogram. But we'll stop here at microgram. So look where you are, you're at microgram. To go from microgram to milligram, we're gonna go three to the left. We're gonna go, we're gonna move that decimal point three spaces to the left to get the milli, from micro to milli. You're gonna go one, two, three. And that will give you milli. So let's write the number down. 500, and we're gonna put a decimal point after the number. And we're gonna move that decimal point three spaces from micro to milli to the left, one, two, three. And that gives you 0 0.5 milligram.